Austria is on track to take a right turn as the Conservative People's Party claims victory in the national election. While moderate policies have been the norm for decades, the new government is expected to take a harder line on immigration and Muslims. The election has also put a 31-year-old on course to become Europe's youngest leader. Meet Europe's youngest ever head of government. 31-year-old Sebastian Kurz has stormed to victory with a step to the right. Today is the day for real change in our country. Today has given us a strong mandate to change this country. His centre-right People's Party has held power in some form since he was a baby, most recently in a coalition with the left-leaning Social Democrats. But as Foreign Minister during last year's refugee crisis, it was Mr Kurtz who shut Austria's borders, and now voters have rewarded his hard line on immigration. The atmosphere is great. We're overwhelmed by the result. All our efforts have been rewarded. We're proud of ourselves and Sebastian Kurtz and proud of the movement. But with less than a third of the vote, Mr Kurtz will need a coalition partner and the most likely contender is the far-right Freedom Party, which during the campaign spoke of foreigners taking over the country. We thank voters for their trust. Many Austrians use their democratic right today. Democracy has won in Austria today. Since 2015, Austria has taken in more than 1% of its population in asylum seekers, similar to Germany, where anti-migrant sentiment runs high. But if history is any guide, there could be trouble ahead. A similar far-right coalition in the 90s led to a backlash in Europe and diplomatic sanctions. I'm shocked and outraged. I'm very disappointed that Austria has voted like this. It's irrational. The final results will be known later this week. Anne Barker, ABC News.